Travis Kelsey leaves Highmark Stadium. Disappointed after Chiefs' first loss of the season, Travis Kelsey exited Highmark Stadium with a somber expression following the Kansas City Chiefs' tough 30, 21 loss to the Buffalo Bills. The defeat marked the Chiefs' first loss of the season, bringing their record to 9-1. Kelsey, who was held without a touchdown, appeared frustrated with his performance in the tightly contested game. Following the loss, Kelsey reportedly headed to Taylor Swift's New York apartment, seeking solace from his girlfriend after the challenging day. Swift, notably absent from the game, chose to remain in New York, despite having a break in her era's tour schedule until Thursday, when she is set to resume performances in Toronto. Her decision not to attend the game may have been influenced by a previous negative experience at Highmark Stadium earlier this year. During a playoff matchup in January, Swift and the Kelsey family reportedly faced a hostile reception from Bills fans, an incident that left a lasting impression. That experience, combined with the intensity of the rivalry, might explain her absence from Sunday's game, one of the most anticipated matchups of the season. For Kelsey, the loss was a rare setback in what has otherwise been a stellar season for the Chiefs. Despite his evident disappointment, the tight end remains focused on helping his team bounce back as they prepare for their upcoming games. The Chiefs Chiefs, led by Patrick Mahomes, are still strong contenders as they aim to secure another Super Bowl run. Meanwhile, Swift is nearing the final leg of her era's tour, with just a few shows left in Toronto and Vancouver before wrapping up in December. The singer's demanding schedule has kept her and Kelsey apart at times, though the couple is expected to reunite for Thanksgiving. However, according to Donna Kelsey, Travis's mother, the family doesn't plan to host a large Thanksgiving gathering due to the Chiefs' game against the Las Vegas Raiders the day after the holiday subscribe.